uh, ellipse. The burn pattern starting to take full effect, coming all the way through here. Um, uh, the heat is definitely there. Um, really, just oh, right all the way down in my throat, coming all the way down, burning the chest. Um, kind of have a little bit of the salt, the really salty, uh, really salty uh, flavors up front. Uh, then you get that little bit of that almost hickory smokish barbecue note that just kind of lingers there for a little bit. First you get the big whap of salt and then you get the kind of like smoky flavor. Uh, and then the heat and the the, the chili pepper flavors start building, but still a lot of salty saltiness in my mouth and uh, a lot of heat. So, yeah, hey, yeah, this is uh, redsavina.com's Red Savina habanero mash. So, uh, yeah, the 10 ounces in here, or so they say, looks to be about 10 ounces. Um, yeah, very hot. I agree. So, all right, hey, while well, that goes on, all right, all right, let's talk about, oh, well, I'll try to talk about it because my mouth is really burning right now. Um, let's talk a little bit about the broken hearted, okay? Now, this is a situation that, you know, in someone's life, uh, in everyone's life, uh, this is an event that happens at one point or other. We feel broken hearted. Okay. Uh, I brought this up because me, uh, I'm coming off at the end of a 10 year relationship. Alright. So I've been with a girl for 10 years and our relationship has ended. Okay. And that just brought me in the mood to talk about the broken hearted. But it's not only relationships. It's uh, today with today's economy, uh, people losing their job can lead to broken heartedness, especially people who have been on their jobs for maybe 30 years or whatever, losing their job. Or how about an illness? Or how about expectations? Uh, those parents out there, you know, who have expectations of, of, of their children, son, daughter, whatever. Um, and if those expectations aren't met at some point or somehow... Uh, so that type of thing occurs where expectations are where people fall short of, of the glory um, can lead to broken heartedness okay but there's one thing that is important to remember okay we gotta start somewhere when we're broken hearted we gotta start somewhere and uh, the best point is forgiveness okay we, we are called to forgive people as Jesus forgives us on a daily basis, okay? So, when we repent, and uh, when we have faith in Christ, and we put our trust in God, and we trust Him to forgive us our sins, it is important that we forgive the sins of our neighbor, because we are to love our neighbor as ourselves. okay? So, once we have that firm ground where we forgive somebody and get over the anger. Otherwise, we're going to be walking wounded, we're going to be limping through life, and uh, we're going to be carrying anger on our back like a body bag, you know, and that that extra weight you don't need. So, uh, you shed that weight, you start with forgiveness, and then you put your trust in God. And uh, we know what happens when you put your trust in God, that He makes all things right. So, hey, you know... Starting with brokenheartedness, forgiveness is the first step you have to take. And um, from that point, you turn to God because you're not alone. People who are brokenhearted, oftentimes you feel alone, but you've got to remember that Jesus and God are with you at all time. And when you have that forgiveness, God will forgive you, and you can take that next step on. And uh, you trust in God, He's going to lead your path. All right, hey. So I'll be back in uh, 8 to 10 with redsavina.com's 
Red Savina Habanero Mash. All right. It's Tim. See ya. All right. Welcome back. Okay. We are here today with RedSavina.com's Red Savina Habanero Mash. All right. Uh, yeah. Um, a salty dog. You know, uh, I was just, well, during the break, I was giving some uh, some consideration. I mean, we had earlier uh, the uh, pure Red Savina sauce, and that was uh, kind of salty earlier on. And then we had Melinda's Red Savina, and I believe I commented that that was kind of salty. And now we have this Red Savina sauce, and uh, this one's really salty. So... Is it something inherent in the pepper, or is it uh, just that amount of salt added to the sauce? I don't know. On, on, particularly on, on this one, uh, there's no ingredients here. Um, hey, it could have been poison for all I know. So, uh, But hey, we were willing to try it all for the uh, glory of our hot sauce show. No, I'm only kidding. Um, this is actually... Kind of hot stuff, man. There's a good deal of heat there, too. Um, you get a lot of salt. I think, uh, as with the Melinda's or, or the uh, the uh, pure Red Savina sauce, uh, when it was put on food, uh, that saltiness kind of was masked, you know, but taking a spoonful of it, um, it really it really makes itself manifest on, on, on your tongue. Um, but... Uh, on the food, it's been excellent, and I'm sure this guy here too. When I when I put this on food, it's going to be a, it's going to be a wonderful experience. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm interested in uh, future shows. Maybe we can see this correlation between saltiness and uh, red savina sauces. If it's um, you know, we can maybe work out just what that is. So, uh, well, this one's a bit of a mystery. I. Uh, uh, doesn't say much. So, anyway, uh, the important thing is that it did have, it did have, um, um, other, other flavor complexities. We had that smokiness, we had the, uh, the, uh, actual chili pepper flavors, and, uh, oh, and that heat, whoo, that's, uh, winter in the heat department. So, anyway, uh, all right, so, uh, hey, uh, Feel free to uh, visit RedSavina.com and, um, and get get yourself a bottle of this. And uh, as always, you see the fun we're having. Thank the Lord, and uh, you can try this guy at home. And uh, yeah, how about that? So hey, God bless. Read your Bibles. Till next time.